Hey guys, what's up? It's Noelle. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a cooking video. I haven't really filmed a recipe, but you guys know if you've been following the vlogs that I am trying to get better at cooking. Today has already started off a little rocky because I was planning on making eggplant parmesan, eggplant parm? The breaded eggplant with marinara sauce over noodles, pasta. Um, but the eggplant that I had went bad, so not doing that. Um, instead, I have some mushrooms, so I'm gonna make a mushroom garlic pasta. I just found this website Googling mushroom pasta because I figured why not still make a pasta with just something else and I have mushrooms. So we're gonna make that instead. So let me get the ingredients out and then we can get started. All right, these are all the ingredients. We have mushroom, onion, garlic, Cheese, it asks for Parmesan, but we have pepper jack and Gouda, so I'm gonna use those. Pasta. Powder. <laughs> Lemon juice, butter. I'm taking out the trash. Lemon juice, butter, mustard, chicken sock. Did you say mustard? <laughs> mustard. <laughs> Did you say mustard? Salt, olive oil, <laughs> pepper, <laughs> red pepper flakes. I didn't say mustard. Don't mustard. Don't cut that up. Mustard. Don't edit this. All right, so I have a pot on to boil right here um, for the pasta just cook based on the box's instructions. And then meanwhile, I'm going to prep the veggies, mushrooms, cut up the garlic, cut up the onions. This recipe actually only has like four steps. So love that. And it should be pretty easy. the veggies water is boiling i had switch burners because there was like burning going on i don't know what was under it but now i'm going to get a pan for the veggies all right pasta is going in to salt the water. I hope you guys can see kind of what I'm doing. This is the best spot. Just put the pasta in, making sure that is all in the water. Now I'm about to cook the vegetables, olive oil into the pot. And let us read. So add oil, one tablespoon of butter, once the pan is hot, saute, onions and mushrooms, 
And then that's it for the first step. All right, so putting in mushrooms and onions. I will link this recipe below and I just want to say I am an amateur cook just trying to try new recipes so please don't judge my cutting skills or how I do stuff but it's me meant to just give you guys a recipe for you guys to try and if I can do it you can do it so let's cook together. Alright I think the pan is hot enough the butter is melting so let's put in our mushrooms and onions. This is my favorite cooking utensil, honestly. It is from Le Creuset. Where is that? Right there. But it's really good at making sure stuff doesn't stick and not scratching the pan as well. So toss that. Melted butter smells so freaking good. Oh my gosh. Check on the pasta. Yeah. All right, I am using these French, French's mustard. I don't know if that's different than Dijon. I feel like it is, but you know, you kind of have to work with what you have. So half teaspoon, oh wait. You don't want the juices of the mustard. So this is a one teaspoon, so we'll just fill it up. Get that ready and then garlic and butter will go in. While I'm waiting for these mushrooms to cook, comment down below what your favorite pasta recipe is. All right, so the water is coming out of the vegetables. We kind of just have to let them get browned after all the water gets out. Pasta is still cooking. All right, I would say this is looking pretty good. I went ahead and already added some salt. So now I'm gonna add the mustard, a little more butter, and the garlic. surprisingly made it smell really good of course butter and garlic always smell good together and now I think pasta is almost done so I need to drain that and save some of the pasta water and let's see what the next step is I don't know about y'all but I always oh, have to taste pasta to see if it's ready okay this is done let's drain this out oh gotta save pasta water basically done just have to assemble I almost forgot the pasta water which is essential to these types of recipes so let's see how it comes together all right I just cleaned up a little bit I need to grate the cheese this is actually pepper jack right here and I already added the chicken broth and some lemon juice so I think once we grate this we add the pasta and then use use the um, pasta water to kind of make it the consistency we want. I was gonna add red pepper flakes, but because this is pepper jack, I think I'll just skip that. I don't want it to be too spicy. So I'm just gonna add everything to the pan basically. Oops. Cheese, 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 the pasta, come on. 
gewoon vast. We gaan het stir it up. A little bit of pasta water. Last step is to add some pepper and then we get to taste it. All right, let's get some mushroom and some pasta. A little bit of onion in there. Okay, definitely needs a little more salt, but it's actually pretty good. It's very creamy. This is the final product. This is what it looks like up close. You can tell really creamy. I had to add a little more seasoning than what the recipe called for, but I think this is a good meal. I think it's different from what I'm used to making. I would just suggest that if you're gonna make a full box of pasta to add two boxes or, um, what are those things called? Bins of mushrooms or what, however they come. I would just do more mushrooms. I think that would give it more flavor and then you just have more I like to call them like additives to the pasta. Um, the ratio I think would be a little better. But I would rate this recipe maybe like seven out of 10. If you guys try it, comment down below, let me know. Let me know how yours turned out, snap pick, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.